sunscreen and makeup. It seems like the two cannot work together, especially applying sunscreen on top. I asked you guys what your biggest struggle with this were. The white cast, the sunscreen flaking off, ruining your makeup by applying sunscreen, and all that that. Today I'm going to share everything about sunscreen and makeup. From choosing the right one, to knowing how to apply under and over makeup, and recommending good sunscreens. This video is sponsored by Style Korean. So let's get started. First thing first, why should you apply sunscreen? A few years ago, this photo went viral, proving the importance of sunscreen. He is a 69-year-old truck driver whose left side set exposed to UV rays for more than 25 years. It clearly shows the severe damage that sun can cause to someone's skin. The sun has UV rays which can cause sunburns if you are overexposed without applying sunscreen. This results in aging of the skin looking like wrinkles, fine lines, age spots, and sagging skin. So then, is sunscreen a summer thing? This data shows the UV index remains strong all year round. Because of this, dermatologists recommend using sunscreen every day and reapplying regularly at least two to three hours. So that's why we should apply sunscreen and reapply often, regardless of the season. Now that you understand about why you should apply sunscreen, then let's talk about why you should reapply sunscreen throughout the day. First reason is to sustain sun Sun protection. Over time, sunscreen becomes less effective when exposed to sunlight. This means that it gradually loses its ability to protect your skin from sun damage. To maintain the desired level of sun protection, it is important to reapply sunscreen frequently. Second reason is because it can be removed with sweat and water. When you're out and about in the summer, doing stuff like sports, sweating, and swimming, your sunscreen can get wiped off and thin out, making it less effective. That's why it is so important to reapply sunscreen to get those protection from sunscreen throughout the day. One of the most asked question is, should I apply a sunscreen even if I wear makeup on the top? My answer is yes. This is what many people don't understand about sunscreen that even if the foundation or base makeup has SPF, the amount used is insufficient to fully protecting your skin from the UV rays. This is correct amount of sunscreen you actually need for full protection. But we don't use this much foundation or concealer. So applying the right amount of sunscreen is crucial whether you wear makeup or not. So then how to choose the best sunscreen? First, look for a sunscreen that provides full spectrum protection, meaning it protects against both UVA and UVB rays. UVA rays can lead to skin aging and contribute to skin cancer, while UV rays primarily cause sunburn. Now here's the deal with sunscreen ratings in different countries. In the US, look for the words full spectrum on the tube. In Korea, a system called PA to measure UVA protection. As for SPF, that measures the protection against UVB rays. So when shopping for sunscreen in Korea, make sure it has both SPF and PA+. When I ask you guys about the biggest concerns using sunscreen, many of you guys answered white cast. This normally happens when you use physical sunscreens like sunscreen filters because they don't actually penetrate the skin making them safer than chemical sunscreens. But if you don't have any issues with using chemical sunscreen and are looking for one that doesn't leave any white cast, there are many great options and I will introduce those products later. Third thing to consider is not leaving any greasy residue. If a product leaves a greasy residue onto your skin, the foundation foundation or concealer you use get patchy and if it's not absorbed properly, you could get the same result too. Sai Korea sent me some Korean viral sunscreens from their website and here are my best picks. And they take the older boxes as a sunscreen under and over makeup and even without makeup. First product I would like to recommend is this Jumiso All Sun Airy Fit Sunscreen. It has SPF 50 plus. This product is ultra lightweight and hydrating chemical sunscreen. It's super ruddy and kind of milky texture with best of Absorption. It doesn't give that greasy or shiny appearance. It leaves a subtle shine on my skin. This is the most hydrating sunscreen among those products I'm introducing today. So if you have dry skin like me and look for something hydrating, even during the summer, this might be a great option for you. Next one is 
Beta Skin Sebum Zero Alloride Vegan Sun Cream. This product is more like lotion slash cream, which is easy to apply evenly onto your face. It has light green tint in it, so it's good to neutralize the redness and gives you a little brightening effect. If you apply a lot of amount at once, it can leave a subtle tacky feeling. So it is always good to apply a thin layer of the product little by little. It has a cooling effect which comes from water mint extract. So if you have sensitive skin, it is always good to test the product before you actually put it in your face, like your chin or neck. The next sunscreen is this Skin 104 Water Fit Sunscreen. This product has a water cream texture that provides hydration onto my skin. Once I blend that in, it transforms into a more water consistency and absorbs instantly into my skin. It doesn't leave a greasy or oily residue. Instead, it offers semi-matte finish which is perfect for applying under makeup. We discussed about applying sunscreen under makeup. Now let's talk about applying sunscreen over makeup. If you're considering applying those hydrating sunscreen over makeup, it would obviously remove your makeup because because oil from the sunscreen would melt your makeup while you are rubbing it like a cleansing oil. This makes sunscreen stick ideal for reapplying over makeup because it doesn't ruin your makeup as much as what creamy, liquidy, hydrating sunscreen do. And also it's very convenient to carry when you are outside and even when you travel. But since the sunscreen stick doesn't provide enough sun protection itself, so that's why it is good to use when you apply sunscreen under makeup properly and reapply it over for more long-lasting protection. Look for non-greasy or oily one. We can deny the fact that rubbing motion can easily wipe your makeup off a little bit, but it's best to avoid those overly oily sunscreen stick that could easily wipe it off. Here are some recommendations what I found from Sky Korean website. First product is this Aviv Airy Sunscreen Smoothing Bar. The sun stick glides effortlessly onto the skin. The curved shape of this sun stick makes it easy to apply onto the face. When I reapply it over makeup, I have notice that it doesn't ruin my makeup. This feature adds to its convenience. I can easily touch up without creating any mess on my hands. As a result, it is travel-friendly, makeup-friendly sunscreen sticks I would like to recommend. Next one is Tokobo Cotton Soft Sun Stick. It has a silky texture with semi-matte finish, making it more suitable for people with oily skin. During the summer, I think it would be a great alternative to a blotting paper, as it helps control oil on the skin and also provides SPF protection. It has a baby powdery scent, which makes me feel nostalgic, but it disappears after a few minutes once I blend it into my skin. You can shop all these products on Amazon if you are from the US and on Style Korean globally. So that was all about sunscreen under and over makeup. I know it was a lot of information and I tried to make it easy to understand, so hope it was very helpful. Please, please do not forget to apply sunscreen, whether it's a winter or summer, whether you are even outside Inside or inside because I believe it is one of the most effective and affordable skincare investment you can make for your skin. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!